No one? Caitlin is away. Okay. So let's keep going with these uh, restrictions. It says this. Everybody found it? In how many ways can the word oranges be arranged? Why did I underline the word arranged? That's our trigger word that this is a permutation. That's going to be important on Wednesday because on Wednesday we're going to say, what if order doesn't matter? What if we don't count Erica, Ellen as different from Ellen, Erica? So arranged permutation, if it doesn't say the word arranged, we'll have to think for a little bit of whether it's a permutation or whether it's what we're going to call a combination. And a combination just wants to know, are you in the group or out of the group? It doesn't care when you got picked. Preview of coming attractions. Meanwhile, uh, Sean, so that's why I underlined the word arranged. And uh, it said there are fr no further restrictions. I said, well, if there's no further restrictions, you can just go seven factorial or from seven pick seven, or you can go seven <laughs> times six times five times four times three times two times one. The first method is the fastest. The last method is what my fallback. When I don't know what to do, I go back to the fundamental counting principle, draw on a blank. I'm good at drawing a blank. Then we said for number six, what if the first letter, for B, sorry, what if the first letter must be an N? We said, okay, there's one way to pick an N. Now you have six letters left in the Scrabble bag. Now let's do C. C. Justin, can you read C to me, kiddo? The vowels must be together in the order all A and E. Okay. Uh, I'm going to redraw my Scrabble bag, but now it's going to look a little strange. There's going to be a tile that has O, A, E because it says the vowels must be together in that order. What else? Oh, there's also going to be an R, an N, a G, and an S. So even though we started with the word oranges with seven tiles, I think, Justin, if I interpret this question, this restriction, I would imagine it like that. Well, if the vowels must be together in that order, then there's one strange Scrabble tile that has three letters on it. In which case, hey, count, how many tiles are there actually in this bag? Not seven anymore. How many? Five. Okay. How many tiles are there in my Scrabble bag? Ready, Christina? Count with me. Seven. No. That's one. That's one. Oh, okay. Two, three, four, five. Why? Because it said we said they have to be stuck together. Okay? We're going to add a part D right here. The vowels, I'm going to type it because my writing is messy. We're going to add a part D right here. D, the vowels must be together in any order. With me? See the difference, by the way? In, in C, I said, better be O-A-E. In D, eh, any order you want. Anyone have a suggestion on how we could handle this one? Sorry? Two different little Scrabble bags? Why two? So why are you saying two? You're, on, you're, you're, you're close to being on the right track. I just have a, I'm hung up on the two because, wait a minute, how many vowels are there? Three. So why two? Ah. Already arranged ones that okay. I think, I, think, I think we can do this. It's still going to be one, two, three, four, five blanks. It's still going to be five factorial just like before, except how many ways can you mix those three up? Because it says in any order. I guess you can mix those guys up that many ways. Right? You can mix the tiles up five factorial ways. 
oh, and that one tile that we've temporarily treated as one tile, actually you could have an OAE, an OE, oh, uh, uh, forget it. I feel like old McDonald going E-I-E-I-O or something. There's a, you know what, you could mix that up a whole bunch of uh, three factorial different ways. Okay, That's a tough question. Oh, by the way, uh, five factorial is, I think, 120. What is five factorial times three factorial? That one I don't know. 720? In how many arrangements of the letters of the word brains are the vowels together? So again, if the vowels all have to be side by side, I'm going to visualize a Scrabble tile with the vowels, which I guess are just A and I. And then there's also a B, an R, an N, an S. Did I miss any? Brains. No, that works. It does say arrangements, which means it's a permutation. So first of all, how many tiles do I have in my Scrabble bag? You see it? Five. So there's going to be that many ways I can mix up the tiles. Am I allowed to also mix up any individual tile? Well, yeah, it doesn't say I have to go AI. It says the vowels just have to be together. So how many letters, how many vowels are there on that little weird tile? You know what? There's two factorial, which just happens to be two, but I'll write the factorial to remind me that it's a permutation. There's two factorial ways to mix it up. What is five factorial times two factorial? 240? Double check. Yeah, it is. Sometimes I can do these in my head, sometimes not. Okay. So permutations with restrictions, a little trickier. There's going to be some that we, these are going to be some tricky ones in the homework. It's a short lesson. I'm giving you most of this class. You're going to work on the take home quiz and you're also going to be working on the homework. And uh, I'll also take questions from homework from previous days. I'll come around and help to, uh, or hang on. No, I got another page. I'm sorry. I forgot. Ha, let's keep going. Turn the page. My bad. Here we go. Find the number of permutations of the word kitchen if the letters K, C, and N must be together, but not necessarily in that order. Okay, we got a new word. Sean, what's the word? No, what's the, new, what's the word in bold font? What's the uh, kitchen. kitchen? Double check. Any letters appearing twice? No, so we don't need to use the uh, N factorial over A factorial, B factorial. So we don't have to use that approach. Okay. Read me part A, Sean. What's the restriction? The letters K, C, and N must be together, but not necessarily in that order. Okay, how can I handle that? <coughs> What's my strategy here? How can I handle this? I'm going to draw a Scrabble bag, absolutely. So here's my Scrabble bag. Sean, my friend, what's in the Scrabble bag? Well, there's a weird tile. What's the weird tile? Okay, so there's going to be a tile that says K, C, and N. Does it have to be in that order? No. Okay, we'll come back to that. What else is in the Scrabble bag? Okay. How many tiles grand total? Five. Psst. Guys, I need you here. Five. Right? Oh, times? Factorial. And again, this is pick a tile, and that is Mix up K, C, and N, the number of ways that you can mix up K, C, and N. There's our strategy. Okay. 
What if they had said if it, uh, KCNN in that order? Well, then it would be instead of times three factorial, it would be just times one because there's only one way you can write KCNN. In fact, I probably wouldn't bother writing it. In fact, that's on the previous one with oranges. That's where this five factorial came from. Um, B. Consonants must be all together in any order. Okay. Draw a bag again. There's going to be one weird Scrabble tile. What are the consonants? K, T, C, H, and N. And what else? An I and an E. So Roy, how many tiles are there in this Scrabble bag, actually? So I can mix that up, three factorial. Did it say that on that weird tile it had to be K-T-C-H-N, or am I allowed to scramble that up? Okay. How many ways can I scramble up the K-T-C-H-N? In fact, by a, f a fluke, this happens to be the same answer as, this, as the previous one. It's not that it's the same question, it's just that it happened to work out that way. Yeah? Then there'd only be one way that you could write that Scrabble tile, right? By the way, what is three, times, uh, three factorial times five factorial? Sorry? 720? So 720, 720 for both of them. Okay. We need to practice this. So what's your homework? Let me double check if this is everything that I want to assign. Page 266. Yeah, one is good. Two is good. Three is good. Can you all open your textbooks, please, to page 266, please? Can you all open your textbooks, play, please, to page 266? Okay. Number one, if you look at page 266, it's just asking you to type those on your calculator. Number two says, how many different signals can be made from six flags using two whites, two reds, and two blues? I think that's a word. I think that's a word that looks like W-W-R-R-B-B. -B. White, white, red, red, blue, blue. Mix it up. Number three says six nipples, nick, nickels, nice try, Mr. Duick, are flipped simultaneously. How many ways can three coins land as heads and three coins land as tails? Isn't that a word? H, 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 T, T, T. Six letters, figure it out. Number four, a hockey team has a record of ten wins, five losses, and three ties. Again, I think that's a word. Ten W's, five L's. Three T's. And this is why we keep falling back on words. We say, look, you can write almost anything you want to as a word if you're a little bit clever, and we can scramble that. But most of these will have the same letter repeating over and over and over. So right now, one, two, three, four is good. Six is good. Seven is good. I did skip eight. Good. Nine. Hey, I like pathway problems. Nine is good. Ten is good. 11, I skipped A. The reason I skipped A is we can't do A yet. Do you notice the difference between 11A and 11B? And 11A, there's like an overlapping square. Those are called irregular pathway problems. And I'm gonna show you how to handle those two classes from now. But 11B, it's three separate little pathways. Okay? So 11B is good. 12 is good. 
15 is good, 16 is good. Yeah, I'm good with this. And we also have take home quiz number two. Let me get that in just one second. Quiz two, okay. Starts off with some review. So Mr. Duick, it says, is planning on purchasing a new Lamborghini sports car. That's a hypothetical question, of course. I have a choice of six colors, three body styles, four interior packages, and five, uh, three tire styles. How many different choices? I think you can use the fundamental counting principle there. How many ways are there to arrange the letters of the word complainers? I don't know why the word complainers came to mind when I was thinking of you and typing this quiz. But anyways, complainers. How many seven-letter arrangements are there of the word ambidextrous? How many three-letter arrangements can I make from the word campgrounds? Only this time in your answer, I left it in factorial form. And I'll feel free to do that if I give you a multiple choice question, because your calculator, yes, gives you the answer, but you do need to know how the permutation formula, which is on your yellow formula sheet, actually works. Turn the page, or flip the page over. Flip the page over. Thank you. How many four-digit numbers can I make from the following group? Three, five, six, eight, nine, zero. How many permutations are there of the word Mississippi? Hey, I think there are some letters repeat. Okay. How many permutations are there of the word Chilliwack? And then a pathway problem. How many different pathways are possible traveling from A to B if you're only allowed to move right or down? So I'd like to mark that first thing Wednesday. You got homework you can work on. I sent you an email update on the weekend. There are a number of you that owe me homework from previous days as well. This is our, oh, have you guys got a four day weekend coming up? You do. So if you're missing more than three, yeah, Jake, you got Friday off and Monday off. So that's good and bad, because here's the bad news. If on Wednesday, if on Wednesday, you are missing more than two, count them, two homework assignments. I'll be sending an email home getting you grounded for the weekend until you're caught up. Or you can just get everything in because I'm giving you lots of time to work on stuff today. See how I roll? I'm shutting up. <laughs>